and your longest running high school football show in Acadiana. That it is. Let's continue with the hard hitting action on the gridiron tonight in week six, Kraski. That would be Cecilia and Bro Bridge, George. Civil War, bitter rivals since St. Martin Parish. Third quarter, Reginald Boots A is a key third down stop for the dogs. In the next play, Tigers bobble the punt. Cecilia recovers yards away from the goal line. Rich Collins, he knows what to do. He gets it in, punches it in for a Cecilia touchdown. Then, later, next Tiger possession, Nigel Pat comes up with the grab. Look at that catch. It'll be first and goal with a great snag there. Kelp be Hippolyte then would make it 14-27. But the Bulldogs would come out victorious with the title of St. Martin Parish champs as they win 34-20. Don't need any help from the refs in that contest for the Bulldogs. Nish visiting the Opelousas Tigers at Donald Gardner Stadium within the first two seconds of the game. Opelousas received two penalties, one for unsportsmanlike conduct and one uh, a false start on the first play that would not uh, stop the Tigers. Deshaun Ford going uh, to uh, break through the lines, picks up a nice game there. Coach Jimmy Zachary going to keep feeding the man on fourth and one. Ford busting through the run, the line, and that's good for six. The Tigers take the win, 40 to 21. Well, now the Pirates are taking on the Gents in Crawley. Pirates getting it done on the ground, running back Braden Bear gets stood up, but then pushes the pile forward for a few more yards. And a nice game. The drive would be finished with a touchdown. Off the handoff to fullback Caden Campisi. Kaplan up big early, but the Gents, a little life off of the kickoff return. Senior Nate Harmon catches the line drive punt, and he is going, going, gone. However, 49 35, Kaplan would prevail. All right, and Eunice, the Bobcats hosting the Rain Wolves midway through the second quarter. How about Josh Brown? He'd chuck it down the field to Tyshawn Joseph, and that is a really big game. And that was what the Bobcats wanted, but Rain, they would get the ball back. Quarterback Dylan Judice, he would find Corey Malone for a nice first down play as uh, Judice with the play action fake. Nice pass there. Good form there, Dylan. And Eunice wins 30 to 21, despite the good form by Dylan. Let's stay in Eunice, shall we? The Fighting Blue Jays of St. Edmund welcome the North Central Hurricanes. First and 10. Henry Sumlin gets the handoff and a beautiful gain there. Some excellent moves there as he goes down the sidelines. Then, same drive later. Kevin Johnson gets the rock. Gets into the end zone for a touchdown. St. Edmund 49-8 winners over North Central. All right, coming up, it's our Faust Phenom. Or my Faust Phenom. Top football star for this week. Hey, we're going to tell you all about it when we return. But before that, I want to tell you about Melvin's mascot of the week. Since its inception, the Vermilion Catholic Eagle didn't necessarily have a name to call her own. Well, until Thursday night, I give you Emmy the Eagle. You're watching First and Ten, sponsored by Albertsons.